kill me or I will harm more people when I'm out of prison. Adeni Ajayi said. The Lagos State Police Command on Wednesday, 1st June 2020, arrested a robber and serial killer who confessed how he raped a woman and maids in the presence of their husbands and bosses as punishment for refusing to give him money during the operation. Rather than showing guilt for his evil deeds, Adeni Ajayi, 27, an ex-convict pleaded with policemen to kill him instead of sending him back to prison. Ajayi, who runs one squad, was arrested by detectives of the Special Anti-Robbery SARS of the Lagos State Police Command in Lagos State in a hotel at the Ijora 7-Up area of the state. When the news of his arrest went viral, right victims, some of the whole we are civil servants, lawyers stormed SARS office to maintain that he raped them during operation. Thank you for listening to this news. <laughs> you can imagine. The young man is being bold because no hand has really touched him. This kind of person doesn't deserve an immediate killing. What he deserves is torture. That's why I said they have not really touched him. If Nigerian government can be very, very sincere by showing this man the real the real torture that he deserved for for these heinous crimes that he has committed he will talk he will he will he will, he will, he will, he will confess you can imagine you can imagine the statement that they should kill him he doesn't need an immediate killing he need a torture they should torture him because these are the people that brings or give Nigerian a bad name. These are the people that drag the name of Nigerian to the mud, that makes international country to deny Nigerians of the opportunity of coming into their country to trade. These are the kind of people that travel out of Nigeria, get themselves involved in one criminal act or the other, and give the country a bad name this is a son of 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 a parent this is a child that was given birth to on a, a, a particular day and the parents celebrated call different people from different places to come and celebrate with them look at him look at the kind of life he's living he has not been touched. No hand has touched him. Nobody has done anyone to him, anything to him. If only they can really torture him. If only they can really give him the torture that he truly deserves. He will know what he has done to himself. He has the guts to be vomiting rubbish that they should kill him. <laughs> he hasn't seen anything. By the time hands, different hands, touches him, he will know what's up. He will really know what's up. He chose to live a a life a, a, a life of robbery. He chose to live a life of shame and disgrace. He has not been touched. I want to call on, I'm calling on the Nigerian government to take up the case of this young man serious. They should not, they should not grant him that, that, that bail or that opportunity to escape. 
he should be allowed to face to face justice. He should be allowed to face pains, the pains that he that he, he, he that he made the people to face. He should be allowed to face it. A word they say is enough for the wise. Nigerian government should not be biased in, in, in this matter. They should do something concerning this man's case and make sure that he is allowed to face the punishment that he truly deserves. And as for the uh, for the as for the um, SAS the Nigerian police, I will, I will, I will, I'm commending them for a, 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 a thorough job done and I'm, I'm, I'm calling on them to to enable to do something reasonable by making sure that this young man is properly um, held down without um, anyone granting him any single bail because people of this kind work with people in the upper class and that is the reason why he's is vomiting recklessly, talking rubbish, saying all sorts of nonsense that he should be killed. Nobody will kill him. No matter the, 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 the kind of person or individual or the letter that comes for his bill, they should not grant that permission. They should not grant that permission because they are the people make use of this kind of criminals. This man is a terrorist. Is a terrorist. There is no difference between him and the Fulanese. They, they both rape and kidnap people. They are also robbers. These are the people that give the country a bad name. These are the people that makes Nigeria to be called a corrupt country. See how young he is. He has refused to be used, used, useful to himself. You can imagine, you can imagine, 27 years of age, chose to live a horrible life, chose to live a life of shame and disgrace. I'm disappointed in such person. I'm disappointed. I plead to the Nigerian government to take it up. I plead to the to um to 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 the Nigerian um, force not to be biased. They should be they should be they should be serious in this matter because and uh, and uh, uh, someone of this kind when allowed to uh, to go scot free, my dear, he will come after you in the future. He will come after you without even thinking about it. And when coming after you, he will come after you with full force. I'm telling you, he will not be sympathetic. He will not even be sympathetic one bit. He will deal with the person severely. So let them deal with him once and for all. So that in his next world, he will not even think of becoming a criminal. It's because of the kind of hand that the, that, that the Nigerian force used in handling criminals of this kind that is why they 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 they, 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 they after they are being released they still remain in the in, in such in, in such business my viewers please your comments concerning this young man's confession are very much important please don't forget to leave them behind click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.